once again if women should even have a chance for equal opportunity. And do they have a right to screen out of the process people who support the current laws that are on books? That's what they're doing. When you're for affirmative action, when you're for keeping abortion and birth control legal, when you're for um, the civil rights legislation, you're really for laws that are already on the books, and they're trying to screen it out to reverse the gains of the last 25 and 30 years. We're asking the Senate of a stamp or just looking for scoundrels and thieves and people who lie under oath, but really should try to balance it out ideologically so that what is in the Senate as well as what is in the, rep in this, in the White House is represented. And um, we're going to try to encourage them to stand up, or you're going to see, without the constitutional amending process, a reversal, I believe, of the major portions of civil rights and women's rights that are currently on the books, and I frankly feel an undermining of the Bill of Rights itself. I don't know if you saw the U.S. News and World Report, which I don't think is a radical journal. Uh, I frankly feel it's quite conservative. Uh, but they had an interview of Mies in which Mies said that they were saying, aren't you worried about reversing decisions like the Miranda decision, which requires counsel? Uh, for uh, an accused person. And he